Hey guys, welcome back. Shauna here with Making Everyday Magic. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. This is our fourth year of homeschooling. We have a pre-K and a third. I am a small business owner, work from home mama. We aim to share secular homeschooling tips here because we feel like it's an underrepresented voice in the homeschool world. Today, I want to talk with you guys. You know we are approaching the spring and we are approaching decision making and everyone's got to start doing their research to know what to use for the 2021-2022 school year. So I'm starting with the basics, guys. Let's talk about curriculum, specifically pieces versus kits. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, I try to answer all of your questions. If you have any concerns, anything you want to share, scroll right on down to the comments or head on over to Instagram at Making Everyday Magic and shoot me a DM. So let's talk about curriculum. Curriculum kits versus curriculum pieces. What is curriculum? Curriculum is a set a plan, a little packet of things that you will be teaching your children. It is that simple. Curriculum is what you teach. Now, you may be confused about what curriculum kits are. So curriculum kits are a bundled package of things that a company has either self-published or put together. And so it's a kit. So it's more than one subject. So it's a thing that's put together and you buy it as essentially a bundle. And pieces is like an individual piece. So this is our spelling curriculum and the curriculum focuses on just spelling. Another piece could be math. This is our math curriculum and it focuses just on math. So the kits are several different subjects of curriculum bundled together. The kits usually cover most, if not all, of what you need to teach for an entire grade level. I have found in my experience that the curriculum kits provide a lot of extra things, so extra games, extra ways to integrate the different subjects together. Uh, I like a lot of extras in our homeschool. I think it's more fun. So here's the kicker. Curriculum kits can be both more expensive because you're buying so much or less expensive because it's bundled together. So you're saving money and getting a discount versus overbuying it piecemeal. So curriculum kits can be both more and less expensive than buying an individual piece. But you usually have a lot less freedom in what you're purchasing because you're buying a bundled kit. So it is possible that you will be purchasing something you don't need or intend to use, which can be quite wasteful as far as your money and simply as supplies. Buying a curriculum kit is less work as far as figuring out what to buy because it is bundled for you. Someone else has done the legwork. Someone else has put it all together. You can buy a kit very easily that encompasses the entire year. You don't have to do any more of your homework, your planning, your research, or even scheduling. A lot of them tell you how to use it. So you don't have to figure that out on your own at all. So in the planning process, it can be much, much less work to buy a curriculum kit. Let's talk about curriculum pieces. Usually they cover only one subject. There are many companies that, that specialize in a specific subject. And so they only sell, for example, handwriting without tears does only handwriting. They specialize in the handwriting curriculum. Math you see does math. Spelling UC is by the Demi Learning Company, but they do spelling. All about learning covers reading and spelling. So frequently, these larger companies will just do one piece of the puzzle of your, your full year and your full curriculum. So the pieces are the individual subjects. A benefit to buying the piece is that you can buy exactly what you need exactly what you intend to use. So if your kiddo, let's say is kinder, but they are like first or second grade in language arts, you can buy the specific language arts that your kiddo needs. You can tailor it to exactly what your child needs as far as grade level or accommodations. You can tailor it to 
a type of curriculum that suits your child. If your child does very well with workbooks, you can buy workbook style curriculum. If they do very well with online, you can buy the individual online curriculums if that's what suits your child the best. Now, as I said with the curriculum kits, guys, the individual pieces can be both more and less money. Individual pieces, you're not gonna get a lot of the extras that are included in the curriculum kits from those companies. So you can save a lot of money that way by not buying things you're not going to use. But it can also be more expensive because you're not getting a bundled discount. A lot of the curriculum companies, Timberdoodle for example, they save you money by purchasing in, in bulk quantities from these companies and then being able to reduce what you pay so you pay less than the MSRP on these individual curriculum pieces. So it can be both less money if you are only getting what you need, but more money if you are getting just as much stuff and buying it all individually, not to mention you need to then add in shipping costs. If you're not able to just run to a homeschool store, Shipping costs really add up. You guys know, you everybody's done tons of online shopping. You know when you can bundle, you save on shipping. Sourcing individual curriculum pieces is just more work. It just is. You're not trusting somebody else to do that work for you. You're doing all of that work yourself, which can be really great. And I encourage you to do your own research, but it is just simply that. It's more, it's more work for you when you're figuring out which pieces to use, which pieces go together. So keep that in mind. The curriculum kits are less work for you um, as far as figuring out what to use. They could, parental involvement is not something we're talking about here, but simply figuring out what to buy, the individual pieces is going to be more work because there's just more pieces when you're doing individually versus buying a kit. A kit is one piece. Okay, so let's talk about secular curriculum kit companies, okay? So I know some of them self-publish. So they have decided what they think is important for the world and what everyone needs to know. And they have put that together and published the curriculum themselves. Timberdoodle is a company that sources what they think is the best. They don't self publish. And then they put all of what they think is the best in each subject in their kits. That is something that I like very much because I feel like it's constantly being reevaluated and therefore you get the best of those things. And I just feel like there is a certain specialization for everyone and I don't know that you can specialize in all of it. And they probably have a wonderful team of educators and writers and things like that. So there are companies that self-publish and companies that just source from the curriculum companies what they think is the best. Compile a kit, bundle it up and sell it to you as a piece. And we are specifically, I'm not gonna talk about individual curriculum pieces. I'm just going to be talking about curriculum kits. So there is moving beyond the page. Now, in absolute honesty, I'm not very familiar with any of these, but there's moving beyond the page, which I believe gives you everything that you need. There is build your own library. And I think they just give you a framework and then you source the individual books and pieces that you need to build your own library. There is Oak Meadow, which is another self-publishing company. Torchlight is another self-publishing company, but it's my understanding that it doesn't, it doesn't cover all subjects. Like I think it's like language, arts and science and history, maybe social studies, but it doesn't do math. So I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Definitely look into that if you're interested, but it's another curriculum kit company. And I've heard great things about them. Bookshark. My very limited understanding is that Bookshark is the secular version of Sunlight, which I've heard a lot of things about. A lot of people like it because they can buy the whole set. Bookshark, I think, is also very literature based. So there's a lot of books, but I believe it includes them. I have heard a lot about a new company coming out called Blossom and Root. I'm not familiar with them at all, but I am about to look into them a bit more for choosing our history curriculum. That will be coming up soon. Now, this is not by any means meant to tell you all of the curriculum kit companies. Uh, this is just a snippet. Now, the one that I do have experience with and I've talked about many times here is Timberdoodle. They started out as a homeschooling family themselves and realized that they could purchase things in bulk from the larger curriculum companies and then sell them to the people who are going to use them at a discount. And so it saves you money. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love is that they are not a self publisher. Okay. So they go out and look at other things. They reevaluate every year to find what they think is the best and then bring that in a kit in a box to the consumer, to you, to the parents. 
And I like that they include a lot of extras because it's things I wouldn't have found, things I wouldn't have known about on my own. I also really like, you can go in and get from Timberdoodle, you can get just what you need. So I, um, in, in teaching Marilyn pre-K um, and moving her up in math, we needed the Math UC primer, but we just needed the student workbook. And I was able to get just that. You can customize the kits, you can level up, level down, you can swap them out very easily, or you can get, for example, Math UC, you can get the DVD, the teacher book, the student workbook, and the counters, the block set, or like we did, you can get just the workbook. So that is one of the reasons that I love them. Again, I have the most experience with Timberdoodle, but I know that some of you lovely people have used other things. So please, 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 as we are approaching this season of planning for homeschool, and so many people are ready for it this year, whereas they kind of weren't last year because of the insanity that was 2020, please, if you have experience with any of these things I've mentioned, good or bad, please scroll right on down to these comments and share. This is a great, resource as far as planning. This is a great resource as far as asking questions. If you want to know something specific, if you've looked into, if you're comparing moving beyond the page and Torchlight, scroll right on down to these comments and ask. Someone here will be kind enough to answer for you. I am certain. If we can't find the answers, man, we, we will find someone who can, okay? I don't have them all. I'm not going to pretend like I do, but someone here does. I have absolute faith and they're willing to share because we all need this secular homeschool group to get through this, guys. We all love and appreciate this secular group that is building. Guys, I hope that you found anything here helpful, entertaining, or informative. Please scroll right on down, uh, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, I will link what we use down below. So I hope that that helps some of you. Again, any questions, concerns, you wanna know more about anything, guys, shoot me a DM or write down in the comments.